Welcome to my garden. Today we're going to talk about the difference between animal food chains and animal food webs. A food chain is the path of energy in the form of food going from one living thing to another. A food web is a way of showing how food chains in any place are linked together. Hey guys! So I'm learning how to use Zoom and now I'm going to show you how to make your own Google Slides. See how much I've learned? I can even make a background behind me. Alright, so how to share... Okay, so sharing my screen. I'm going to share my screen now. And you're going to be able to see everything that I can see. Okay? So let's see. I'm on my desktop at home and I'm going to go into... Google. I'm going to go into Google. Okay, so I'm going to get just right on regular Google, just like you guys can do. Okay, so www.google.com. Okay, so I hit my Google. Okay, so let's see. I need to move myself over here. Boy, look at how much I've learned. Okay, so everything in Google comes from right here, okay? And we've done this before, but just a reminder. Okay, so uh, you're going to go down there. Oh, let me move myself out of the way again. All right, so then there's all kinds of things in here. You guys have been doing a lot of work from here, Google Drive. Uh, Gmail is not going to work out. We've, I've asked the principal that's not going to happen. Uh, Google... Google Classroom is here where we've been doing a lot of our work. Google Slides. Okay, so this is where you're going to go to make your slides. See the yellow slides? Okay. I'll move myself back over here out of the way. All right, so in order to make a Google Slide, I'm going to go up to uh, a blank slide. Okay. And of course, I'm going to give it a name. You always have to name anything you do, or God forbid, you won't be able to find it later. Okay, so food chain webs. Okay. All right, so now you can go ahead and create something, and you can um, figure out where, how, what, how, where you want things. Okay. Dear me, I've got to keep moving myself out of the way here. All right, so the format I'm going to use, I could do, let's see, all kinds of things. Get that out of there. Uh, what I need to find is, hmm, insert, uh, what am I looking for? I'm looking for layout. That is in a different place here. When I do this format, you see how we're all learning things. <laughs> New slide, uh, layout, apply layout. Ah, there it is. Okay. See, see, even I don't know what I'm doing all the time. I have to try things. I don't know what I'm doing. I try something else. I, you know, all right. So I'm just going to pick one of these. I'm going to pick like, this one just because then I can put more things in it. There's two spots so I can put things in. All right, so now um, I can go to insert and I'm going to do an image of some kind. And I can either upload it from my computer, that it's something I already have. Maybe what I did when I made my really cool uh, food chain, I went ahead and did it ahead of time, found the pictures ahead of time and then I put them in. So then you could upload it from your computer 
Or if you haven't done that, you're somebody who wants to just kind of do it from, from just right now, uh, then you can do it here. So I'm going to type in raccoon. And then look at all these pictures that come up on about a raccoon. So then I pick one. And then, oops, I pick one. And then I insert it. Here it goes. All right, so it should be there. Now, why isn't it showing up? Ah, oh, no, I, oh, there it goes. Okay, now if you notice, it's too darn big. So you gotta be able to manipulate it. And this is also part of learning with uh, technology. You're gonna grab it. See how these, they, they have these little dots here? You're gonna grab it and you're just gonna kind of manipulate it, move it around until you get it nice and small. Nice size that you want it to be, okay? And you can figure out like, okay, so this is my, this is part of my actual food chain here. That's how I'm gonna get that. And you know what, the more I think about it, I don't know if I really wanna do this kind of thing. I kind of might wanna do something a different kind of layout. Maybe I want to do something like this. Because then, aha, see? Then I can do up here and I can type my garden food chain. So I'm working on the first part of it. Now I actually do have a raccoon living around here, lives up in my tree. So he could actually be part of my food chain if I wanted to. So I've got one picture. I'm going to move it over there. And now I'm gonna go for another picture. So here I go, I'm gonna go back up to insert, image, search from the web. Okay, so what else, what does a raccoon eat? Well, let's see, they eat ladybugs, right? We've learned that now. We're gonna hit ladybugs, enter. And I hit that. So now I'm gonna just pick one of the pictures I like and insert it. Sometimes I have to be a little up. Oh, see what happened? It went right over the top of my other picture. So then I've got to manipulate that one. Move it over. Move it up. Move it down. And just kind of keep working with it until it does what I want. And what I did was I made, I made all these pictures on a few pieces of paper. And then I printed them out and then cut them out. But maybe you don't have, maybe you don't have scissors and maybe you don't have a big piece of cardboard paper. I save everything. You know that about me, right? I save everything. Well, maybe you don't do that. So then you have to do it all in your, in your Google Drive. So you could do one, one page, could be your food, your, your food chain. And then let's say you're done with this page and now you want to add another slide. So you're going to insert, oh, nope, not that one. New, nope, import slides. This is so different from the Chromebooks. That's so why it's so hard. Oh, here it is up here, slide, okay. And again, yours is gonna be a slightly bit different and that's, you're gonna have to kind of look around and Manipulate it a little bit. Okay, so now you have a new slide. See, the one that you made is still there, but now you have a new one, okay? And you might, sometimes it happens where you're so busy, you're just like, oh, and you start erasing everything. And so do be careful because it's very easy to erase things. Okay, so be my food web. Oh, my, my garden food web. Here we go garden food web okay and of course you don't have to do a garden you could do a desert environment i mean you all live in the desert you know what animals are here right and if you don't you can look it up and if you're more interested in the ocean do an ocean if you're more interested in dinosaurs could you do a dinos dinosaur food web and food chain sure you can i know i know you're going to be thrilled to hear that so just make sure that you are correct in which goes where, okay? And this is all for you. This is for fun. You know, this isn't an activity. This is just something to do for fun. It's Fun Friday. Fun Friday, guys. Yay, you made it. Okay, so now we would do this one, okay? When we're all done, 
then we it, it just saves itself so that's really nice if you if you decide you want to print it you'll go up to file you'll you'll scroll down and you'll print it because this is where you would do it okay let me move myself out of the way again ah. okay yes yeah, so right here you'll go down and see where it's print all the way at the bottom and that's where you'll print it if you decide to print it if you have paper if you have scissors if you have cardboard if you have I even have yarn to make it if I wanted to. I have, if you don't have markers, you don't even have to have that. All you have to have oh, is a Chromebook and that you have. So it's all good. So guys, this is how you make a food chain, food web with your Google Chromebook. I hope you had fun. Um, if you need to watch this video, you can watch it over and over again. And I'll show you how to do this um, over and over and over again for you. So happy fun Friday. food chains and animal food webs happen just about anywhere. The difference, of course, is the chains are just a small part of the larger web, even here in my garden. That's it for today. Thanks, Panthers.